The uh, McSweet Company started up uh, in 1990 with uh, a fellow named Leo McIntyre. And Leo was uh, the husband of my day daycare provider. Uh, and uh, he uh, had been a bar and country club manager back in the 1940s in numbers, numerous places around the country, uh, including Los Angeles, Buffalo, New York, uh, some Florida clubs. And uh, he was a martini buff. Well, uh, he had been looking for a sweet cocktail onion in, some, in the 1980s. He wasn't able to find any, so he decided he was going to develop his own. And uh, he lived near the Marriott Hotel in SeaTac uh, here in, in Seattle and uh, talked to those folks about uh, how he might go about that. And uh, they uh, hooked him up with a, a company down in Los Angeles that uh, was an, actually an olive company. So he worked with the, their food chemist for about a year and a half and finally came up with the formula that he was after and uh, in, in early 1990 launched uh, his McSweet pickled cocktail onions. And he uh, named the product after himself, the, the Mac in his name and the uh, sweet brine that he had created. Uh, I, I do he told me about a big launch party they had on St. Patrick's Day 1990 in Burien. There was a, an Irish pub there and they, uh, they organized some kind of a way. They got uh, a mailing list of some of the customers of the pub and somehow they had somebody in Ireland mail out letters to all these people telling them about this big uh, St. Patty's Day party uh, launching these new McSweet cocktail onions and you had to be there and apparently it went over really well and uh, people just love these onions. Well, over the next year or two, Leo went downtown Seattle and uh, he had uh, some relationships with restaurants and hotels and so on uh, through, uh, he was involved in the printing business with uh, restaurant menus. And he was able to get the onions in a number of places downtown, including the Metropolitan Grill and the Olympic Hotel, which is now the Fairmont. Um, and, and so on, and uh, established a, 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 you know, just a pretty good side business out of the trunk of his car. Eventually, uh, he contacted Larry's Markets, who had a series of gourmet markets here in Seattle, and uh, they decided to pick it up. And uh, I was told at one time by the buyer uh, of the, the Bellevue location that they they were selling up to 15 cases a month, which is an incredible amount of, of Pickled items, uh, the, the category normally doesn't turn over that quickly, but his onions became very popular. He was getting mail order business from people who would come into town from New York or Florida or Chicago, and they'd have one martini and just fall in love with these onions. So uh, he was doing mail order as well. And uh, he, About nine years in, uh, he asked me if I wanted to set up a, a a website. I didn't even know he was doing this uh, business and uh, so I I said sure I'll do that and so we set up a, a McSweet uh, cocktail onions website and uh, I was able to then service the uh, orders that were coming in uh, over the, the internet. Yeah, Leo McIntyre worked at a place called the Buggy Whip restaurant in Santa Monica uh, back in the late 1940s and uh, he told me how uh, a lot of high Hollywood clientele used to come through, people like Raymond Burr and Roy Rogers, uh, Hedda Hopper, uh, Gabby Hayes, Dale Evans. Um, so he, uh, he had a pretty good feel for you know, the whole martini culture. And he did tell me that he was asked to escort Henny Lamar also to one of the Academy Awards. Uh, and I don't know if that was in 1949. I think she was either nominated or won for Samson and Delilah. But, uh, he said that he sat at the same table as Jack Benny and Bob Hope, so he was, he was running with some pretty racy company there for a few years.